I was retrenched more than three months ago, and there are some life lessons that I have gained, and through my experience, I'd like to share this with you, and how, with these life lessons, you can achieve a more fulfilling life and career. So just a little bit of background is that I have worked in this company for more than eight years. They are a Fortune 500 listed company in the technology sector, and it's a US multinational company. And I work in a sales department. You must be wondering, sales department and they are retrenching sales staff who are bringing money and revenue for the company. Why? Well, that's not a question for me to answer. It's up to the paymasters. So essentially, the company decided to close down this department globally. And that would mean that my role has become redundant because the whole department is closed and shut down. And when this happened, I actually just gave birth to my second child. And in Singapore, we actually have up to four months of maternity leave after we give birth to a child. So during my maternity leave, I was not allowed to be retrenched, which is under the Ministry of Manpower Law. So essentially during this period, my colleagues, they were all being laid off and retrenched. So for me, I know that the moment I went back to the workforce, after my maternity leave, I would be retrenched as well. So I was essentially mentally prepared for it. But when I went back to the workforce and the news was officially made known to me, my heart literally sank. My heart sank because the news is finally official. So many emotions and thoughts went through my mind. Because can you imagine eight years in a company? Essentially, I sold my youth my prime years to the company, my heart and soul, my time, my sweat and blood, all within the eight years and with just a snap of the fingers, the company says thank you and goodbye. And yep, and I'll be on my own after that. So I started to have a lot of thoughts that came through me. I felt two extreme ends. The first extreme end was I felt a sense of loss and loss. Loss L-O-S-S It's just like losing a loved one It's just like imagine you having dating a person for 8 years Instead of getting married to that person The person tells you that Thank you, goodbye That's the end of our relationship That was how I felt And lost L-O-S-T Because what should I do next? Should I go find another job? Should I be a stay-at-home mom? Should I start my own business? But if I find a job, what job should I do? If I start a business, what business should I start? If I be a stay-at-home mom, will I become invaluable to society over time? Will I be disconnected from the society? Will I what, what if, how? So many questions I keep. But on the other extreme end, I was feeling excited. I was feeling a sense of freedom that my hands are no longer tight. So a corporate job, my hands are no longer tight. My time is no longer tied down or committed to somebody else's business instead of my own time to do my own things. You know, it's very funny. I find that because I felt two extreme ends of emotions. Even though the company can easily just take away the job from me, there are two things which I realized that they can never take away from me. And this applies to you as well and how you build your career on this. One is, they cannot take away my experience and my knowledge that I have gained through working for this company. They can take away my job, they can take away my corporate identity, they can take away my laptop, whichever. But whatever that I have learned, everything that is in my mind, my experience, nobody can take that away from me. It will stay with me for life. And this is the thing that if you are working in a job, no matter if you are going to be retrenched or not, no matter if you are going to resign or not, just know that your experience as you go along working in the company, it will just keep getting better and better. And you grow with more experience, with more knowledge. And it is yours forever. That is of course if you have develop senile dementia in the future but you know let's not go into that and the second thing that they can that the company cannot take away from you is your relationship your relationships with another human being it could be with your colleague it could be with a partner your customer whoever that 
any human they have come across with that you have worked with. These relationships that you have built is yours. But of course, you know, relationships are very fragile. We need time to maintain it. We need to invest our time. We need to invest in the human being itself. But, you know, some close colleagues of mine, we become friends. And even after I was retrenched, we continue to keep in touch. And some are really, very really nice people. And I'm so glad that even after being retrenched, we still keep in touch. And these are the relationships that will stay for life. If you continue to invest in the relationships. So just remember, even if you go through a retrenchment, not all is lost. Do you know that ever since I was young, I have always wanted to start my own business, but I never ever had the courage to take the step forward and do it. The reason is because for the past 18 years, can you imagine, 18 years, I have been working as an employee, I've been working for somebody else, and I know that at the end of the month, I will always get my paycheck. You get my commission, if you're in a sales show, you will get your extra commission in, on top of your regular paycheck. So to me, is I'm so used to getting that regular paycheck that it has immobilized me, it has kind of paralyzed me to take the step forward to start a business of my own because of fear, because of the comfort zone that I'm in. And precisely because this retrenchment happened, to me it is a God's sign, God's way of closing the door and pushing me out of this door and to start a new chapter, to open up a new door, to forge out new paths, a new life for my career in life. In fact, if I wasn't retrenched, I wouldn't even be starting my social media channel. I wouldn't even be doing YouTube. I wouldn't be doing Instagram, TikTok, and the list goes on. I wouldn't be doing any of this. But the fact that I'm doing this is because I was retrenched. So if you are going to be retrenched or you are retrenched, don't lose heart because you will always push out a better path for yourself. Now there are a few scenarios you need to consider of course. If you are single, things are easy for you. You have no responsibilities, you have only yourself to take care of or maybe your aged parents. But it, essentially, it is for you to move on, easier for you to move on. You can easily just find another job, think about what job you want to do. You can even start a business because with the retrenchment package, you could jolly well take a step back. Don't rush into finding a job. You can take your time, think through what you really want to do next. What do you want to do for the next 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years of your life? And if this is your end goal, you are here right now, what are the paths you need to take? What do you need to do to reach there? If you are someone with a family, if you are not the sole breadwinner, that makes things slightly more easy as compared to if you are a breadwinner. Alright, so of course, if you are a breadwinner, you probably have to consider more carefully because your family depends on you. You may be able to take a break, a short break, and use this time well. Because this is a time when you need to think about where do you want to go next. You know, I'm not sure what age you may be at, but our lifetime is limited. Imagine if you are 40 years old and you get retrenched. Your working life perhaps still have 20 plus years. And 20 plus years, it's not too long, it's not too short either. You really need to enjoy what you are doing for the next 20 plus years. So take this time off to think about your trajectory. Is what you are doing for the past few years of your life in that company something that you want to continue on in your next career? If yes, then the answer is obvious. Find something similar. But research has shown that it is always better if you step out of your comfort zone Explore new things because when we are on our deathbed or when we are going to pass on, you don't want to be looking back, thinking back, would I be happier if I had done certain things, if I had done A, B, C, D, E, if I had tried doing X, Y, Z. Don't ever come into that situation because 
you will likely regret not doing what you should have done back in the past. So take this time to think carefully what is the next step that you want to do. And for me, like my case, I'm not the sole breadwinner. I am blessed enough to have my husband to help support the family and household and therefore I can put in more focus in building a social media channel and hopefully it explodes and I'll be happy to contribute more to the family like what I had been used to do and I always feel that teamwork is always the best. So to me, retrenchment is the best opportunity for you to start a new chapter in life. Forge a new path for yourself. And imagine if you resign from the company, you are not going to get any compensation. But this time round, when you leave the company, you are given a compensation package. You can take a break from work. You can use that compensation package to good use, be it to travel, to have a clearer mind, and to just put you through a certain period of time before you really find the thing that you will really enjoy doing for the next 10, 20, 30 years of your life or even more depending on at what age you are right now. So with this, I hope that my friends, you do not lose heart. You do not get yourself trapped in this circle that, oh, you know, you're not retrenched and it's so hard to start a new chapter. No, not at all. Because it is basically God's way of pushing you in a new direction, in a new path, and you have to take it. You have to walk the new path. You can do better because you deserve it. In Chinese, there is this idiom that says that 水往低去流,人往高处爬 What it essentially means is that water will always find its way downstream and humans will always climb and soar towards higher heights. And this is in our nature. And if this retrenchment is a setback for you, don't see it that way. Because it is just a way to open a new door for you, a window of opportunity to explore something new, chart a new path for yourself. And I'll see you at the other side when you have forged a new path for yourself. I hope this inspires you and that retrenchment is not a dead end, it is something new and it's something that forces you out of your comfort zone and find something better for yourself. I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up like for this video, give me your comments, what do you think? And please do subscribe to me because your subscription is important to me and that will also help support me to create more of such videos for you in the future. You may also like to watch these videos next. And then I'll see you in my next video.